Hi! Today is a very special day for me. Finally, after a year and a half of waiting, I get to introduce to you my Million Sales Achiever stamp set. And it's also an exclusive 2024-2025 Stampin' Up! catalog sneak peek. So drum roll, please. Oh, here we go. It is the Layers of Beauty stamp set, and it's part of a bundle. I've got dies, and there's a third part, too. And dare I say, it is the prettiest Million Sales Achiever stamp set ever. My mom thinks I may be a little biased, perhaps, but I'm so excited to demonstrate for you a beautiful card I designed with it. I'm going to share with you the story of how my Layers of Beauty stamp set was never meant to be. I'm Shelley Godby, and for 23 years, I've been teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles through my YouTube videos, my Stamping Smiles blog, and my mailing list. And the third part of the bundle, well, I'll show you that in just a bit, and it makes it spectacular. Here's a closer view of my Layers of Beauty bundle. Oh my goodness, look at this gorgeous, the spray of roses. And it's bigger than this. It's only pictured at 85%. And so I've got a couple things to tell you about. And the coordinating dies, we have the outline dies, and some intricate. So let's start with the stamp set. Uh, I told you this was the stamp set that was never supposed to be. I was told it's an interesting process. What I got to do was look through the the annual catalog so this was in september of 2022 and i was looking through all the stamp sets in the new catalog some of them were still just concepts not even developed yet and uh, and i was told straight up because roses are my favorite flowers ever and i was told no roses um, they just felt it wasn't time for any more roses. And so went through the catalog and I picked out a bundle and it was floral and it used the new in colors and just so lovely. And a couple hours later, I got a phone call saying, sorry, you can't have that. It was part of a mega suite and another million sales achiever had her name on the other bundle in the mega suite. They said, we can't have two of them on one. And so she says, let's look through the catalog again. And, and there were a lot of stamps that I like, but nothing that was me, you know? And so she's, well, I think this was a Thursday. You'll have to let me know on Monday which one you want. And, uh, and I sent her an email and said, could we go through it again? I'd, I'd like to look again and didn't hear from her. And, uh, and so I was trying to figure out what I was going to do, which one I was going to pick. And that Monday, I get a phone call, and she was all excited. They had a concept they wanted to do with, and here's the other part, the third part of the bundle, the decorative masks, or what some people call stencils. So we've got the layering. We're going to layer, and I'm going to show you how to do these in really simple uh, three colors on the roses, layers of beauty. What a cool name. And, uh, and the flower they wanted to use was too small to use the decorative masks. And the artist, and her name is Claire, she says what would work perfectly would be roses. And so I got that phone call and <laughs> just like, oh my goodness, this is so awesome. I cut my roses. I was like, you know what? I tell anyone who will listen, I'm a blessed woman who walks in favor. And a friend was telling me, she's, you know, there's proof that God cares about even the little things. This is so me. Since I've been a little girl, roses in particular, soft pink roses are my absolute favorite. And so then I got to work with the artist to make some changes. And the first thing I asked was, do you see this rose right here? It's like, oh, it was a full-on rose. Nothing was covering up. I said, can we isolate that rose so we can die cut it separately from, because we've got the big one that'll die cut the hole, this big outline one, but I wanted to be able to have this be even more flexible. And she was able to do that for me. She said, let me fool around with it. Of course, this is a little bit too big, but we're going to be able to die cut just this rose. Stampin' Up! hasn't done that before. It'll be really interesting to see if they do that in the future. So excited about that, that she was able to work that out. And so a couple other changes. Um, I added a tag punch, and I'll be using this today. And isn't that pretty? It's got the little stitching on it. 
And then um, this was Get Well. And, and so I wanted an homage to my husband that, bless his heart, um, passed away four years ago. And he was supposed to be here for this. And, uh, and he told everybody God bless, signed all of his emails God bless. And so I said, can we change that from get well to God bless? It would still work in that same vein. You know, God bless will work for a lot of things. She got the approval. And so this is for my honey, Jim. And you make my heart smile. It was, you brighten my day. And I said, well, you know, my name of my business is Stamping Smiles. Can we change that? You make my heart smile and got approval for that. So very excited about the changes. And uh, this was the most important second, isolating that rose. Oh, that, so that's my story of the stamp set that was never supposed to be, that is now mine. Before I die cut, I need to stamp this beautiful spray of roses. And let me show you my dies. Of course, they came on that traditional piece of cardboard, thin cardboard with tape. I put it on a magnetic card, and I get these from Stampin' Storage. It's a different company, but it's just a nice, strong magnet to hold all of them. And then I slip them into these pockets that are available, too. And... Uh, so through March 18th, 2024, they are 20% off. The magnet cards, uh, these pockets, and a few other things. And I just learned today, this is really cool, you could put, if you wanted to keep it all together, um, your stamps will cling to this. thought, well, that's really cool. I like keeping them in the box. But anyway, so we need to stamp. What I have here is some basic white cardstock. Whenever you're stamping on white cardstock, you absolutely want to use the Stampin' Up! Basic White Cardstock because it has a smooth, tight finish to give you crisp, clean images. And my Layers of Beauty stamp set, well, it's a photopolymer stamp set. Look at the size of that. I see. <laughs> and, uh, and I've got this on a clear mount block F. And whenever the stamp is bigger than my stamp pad, I put the stamp upside down and take the pad to it. And I'm using the Tuxedo Black Momento ink pad. This will be outlined in black. So let's give this a really good inking. Ink that all up. I am so excited about all of this and I can't wait to show you how to use the masks. I have a tool that makes it so easy, but it's just breathtaking when we add the color. So, you, you know, you could use the stamp set without the masks if you want to watercolor or use the, the Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers, but uh, the masks with doing the shading for us is a beautiful thing. So I'm going to press everywhere. And, uh, oh, I just, so many ideas for this stamp set. Of course, we could just stamp it. You don't have to die cut, but wait till you see it die cut. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, so I'm just, it's a big stamp. I want to press everywhere. Let's see what we got. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So what I need to do now is grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. You know, today I did something I've never done before. I went ahead while everything was nice and flat, instead of trying to work around the handle of the stamp and cut and emboss machine, I went ahead and put my die on while it's just laying down like this. And, and it worked really well for me. So I could see, now this is a big die and a lot of things to catch. So I'm looking here, I'm looking everywhere. That's looking really good. Let me, yeah, see, I need to rotate that just a little bit. So while holding, get this, and I can see the black line around all of it. Yeah, that is a big die, one gorgeous big die. And my mom described this as dainty. And I, yeah, that was it. I was trying to describe it myself. I was thinking, I'll say what I have here is um, some Crafter's Companion low-tack tape. And so, you know, you could use washi tape, a post-it note, but I'm really liking this. And, uh, and I thought, oh, dainty, that's it, dainty, delicate, because I thought it's not whimsical. It, it's just gorgeous, but I thought, Mom, you nailed it, and I will be using that to describe it. Okay, 
This is looking good. So let's take a piece of this low tack tape and I'll grab my, I've got it right here, my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So now what we need to do is build what's called a sandwich. You need to get to the appropriate thickness for the thin metal dies. And so I'll start with a plate number one. And then I need a plate number two, that little bit extra for the thin metal die. And then I need a plate number three, a cutting plate. And all these plates I'm showing you are included with the purchase of a stamp and cut and emboss machine. And so now our cardstock with the die on it and that rough edge, that's the cutting edge. I put that down and we'll finish with another plate number three. All right. And so we'll go ahead and crank this through and see how well I did. I should have stood up. <laughs> I'm used to demonstrating sitting down, but every time I use my stamp and cut and boss machine, I do always stand up. So let's have a look. Yeah, gently take that off. And we've got a beautiful die cut image. Fantastic. Okay, and so let's go ahead and, you know, that tag I was telling you about, I want to use that. I've got plenty of room on this. So instead of another piece, go ahead and do that. Oh, all right. And the card I designed is just so me. So look at that. The stitching around it. And then we've got some soft sea, soft sea foam cardstock here. I'm gonna use these intricate leaf dies that came with it. There we go. There are four of them and they're all different. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and get that through. So now we have some of the intricate flowers to add in with it, leaves. So all the die cutting is done. So now we get to use the decorative masks and make this gorgeous. And of course, in soft pink, I'll be using bubble bath. And, uh, and so the stencil, the masks, um, we need to fit it on. And I find it easier to start here doing it in the air. Okay, so we've had masks for a while. This is only the second stamp set that is coordinated with a uh, mask to coordinate with a stamp set. And I really liked them, but they kept moving on me. And then a friend told me about this waffle flower mat. It's a silicone mat. It's a beautiful thing. So let's get this close. Okay, that's pretty doggone close. I can make adjustments. And these are numbered and that notch helps you too. And so this is it's start with number one and it'll fill in the most of it. And so that'll go in the corner. Oh, and look, that is, see if I need to make any adjustments. The roses look really good. Just feels like the center of that flower, the daisies off just a tad. Okay. That looks fantastic. And so this the, the basic white cardstock is going to cling to the silicone. Okay, so let's get started. The Bubble Bath Classic Stampin' Pad. Pick this up, slide that in, and the small blending brushes, you know, they came out with those, and it was said, and I don't know if it was my artist who told me or somebody else, but they were going to be, it was her, I think, really good for uh, the masks, and it's true. So let's go ahead and I'm loading this up and that's just, you know, loading up your brush with color, rubbing it on here. And I'll still will hold the mask, but start filling in. So I'm just rubbing this, this on. Now the daisies, I want to do a different color. So I'm trying not to go crazy and go off the edge on them. And bubble bath is a light color. So I'll be loading my brush a good bit, but look at that. It's starting to fill it in. Gorgeous, oh my goodness. And we'll grab these blossoms and this other rose. Mm. 
Okay, so let's let's get it deeper. We'll get it deeper. Aren't these small blending brushes nice? If you only have the large one so far, you'll want to pick these up. And everything I'm showing you today, okay, so the Crafters Companion low tech uh, tape, that I'll have a link under the video to it that is an Amazon purchase, that isn't something Stampin' Up! sells. And the same with this waffle flower mat, I'll have a link to that, that's an Amazon purchase. But everything else other than my wonderful bundle is available to order in my online store. Okay. So there we go, we've got that. I'm gonna keep these two together. And then I have Lemon Lolly for the daisies. Pick this up, let's grab another. You want a different brush for each color. And even if I, you know, if I thought I was gonna wash them out, it would take time to dry in between and all that. So you want a, a different one. So we fill, fill that in, very nice. Now, when I get down here, I'm gonna to wanna to try to stay off of the pink for sure. Follow that, there we go. Look how quickly that fills in. All right, let's pick it up and look. Oh, it's so cool, because we're only working on the flowers with the first three masks, the leaves, then I can do in another color. So the notch in the number two, this stayed where it is, place that, and it's in that perfect placement. So I could use that, but I want to keep going with the rose. Let's go back to the bubble bath, load up our brush. Now see, this is going to give us those layers of beauty, the layers of color. And even on these small ones, it's another, because when I first put it on, I thought I kept trying to move it around thinking I didn't have it lined up. Well, it was. <laughs> um, it was lined up so we could have a layer even on those teeny tiny ones, which is just remarkable. So I thought about doing, you know, more contrast by using another color uh, instead of just bubble bath. But, you know, I just wanted the softness. I wanted to start my first time using it. It had to be my absolute favorite flowers, and it's definitely this soft baby pink roses. And so, like I said, you could get more dramatic for sure and use different colors. So let's get our blossoms too. There we go. Fantastic. I'm not done with that, but I'll set it aside. And even these small daisies get more detail. And see, it's leaving the centers nice and covered up. There we go. All right. It's so much fun every time you peel it, take it off. <gasps> Look at that. It's just going to get better. Okay. And our third mask for the flowers, so even more detail. Isn't this silicone mat just wonderful? So you see it staying in place, and it's so easy. Once you get it lined up the first time, and it was easy, you know, do it up in the air, and then make any adjustments if I needed to after it was down. So now this will be our third color in the deepest around the center, as it would be in nature, right? Very nice. And so the daisies are all covered up except for the center. So I get to add a color to the centers. The, the detail on this beautiful stamp set. I'm just so tickled. I, I just can't believe something that's so me got to be my Million Sales Achiever stamp set. And under the video, there's an explanation about that. I'm supposed to give a disclaimer about that. So um, you can see that. All right, so let's go ahead and close these up. I'm pulling, there we go. And while this one is still on, I need the centers. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do Black Eyed Susans, right? So back with my Tuxedo Black. And I thought, let me try it. I got out a sponge dauber. We'll get this good and loaded up and come in here and fill this in. All right.
And this stamp is so pretty, it'd be pretty just stamped. You wouldn't have to color it. You know, you could stamp in a color. There we go. All right, let's put this aside. I'll be using that for a greeting. Okay, let's peel this off. Remove. Peels a little dramatic, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so two more. We've got the stencil, the mask, generic stencil for the leaves. And because I've got the soft pink roses, I decided to say the nice soft pink, and I've got the soft sea foam. Pick that up, slide that in, and a third small blending brush. We'll get this good and loaded up. Okay. And what's so nice is I don't have to be careful because everything else is covered. It masked off. Oh, that's why they did the name. That's a really good name. <laughs> it masked off the rest of the images. And, and I'm going to do all of the leaves in this same green. So I don't need to be careful to hit, you know, to, to avoid one because I want to use another green. Yeah, it, this um, waffle flower uh, it makes all the difference in the world when doing the decorative masks. Oops, and oh, and I'm okay. There we go. I moved it. <laughs> it was the the cardstock didn't move? I I moved the mask. That's not ideal. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. I thought I might pass out from excitement. Okay, let's have a look. No damage. All right, I caught it before I did it. Like, wait a minute, that's not lined up. And so then our third one, and again, you know, this is numbered, so that was our fourth, and the numbers and that notch. And then you're just all set. So we'll set this on here. And same color. I'm going to just do, again, you can get dramatic, more dramatic, right? Um, a lot more contrast by using a light and a darker. It's going to be fun to see. This is on the pre-order for all those that went to convention what they now call on stage. I've been at so long, we used to call it convention, so I still think of it as that. They're able to order this now. So it'll be fun to see what people start doing with this, other demos. All right, so, and that added the shading and look at that. Wowza. <laughs> I am just stunned at how absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous this is. Okay, and so I played around with some different colors. Tried it on several different colors. I tried it right on um, soft sea foam, and it was pretty. I tried it on bubble bath. It was okay, and I just came down to, I just preferred it on the basic white, and then layering it with some other. But I started playing around, and I thought, boy, I still don't want to be quite that stark, but I didn't want it right on the bubble bath. And then I was like, oh, this was a new online exclusives I hadn't played with yet, the Drizzling Droplets. Very, very cool. And, uh, and I played around with some different colors, and I will show those to you. I decided to see, okay, so on the Lemon Lolly, that, that's pretty. You know, picked up the, the yellow from there. And I thought, well, it's droplets, how about blue? So I did the balmy blue, and that was okay. And uh, I tried the crumb cake. And just not quite what I wanted, but what worked for me was the bubble bath. So let's do that. And so I have two of these. And so this is, a, you know, what was that? The F and F block. So let's bring back the bubble bath. Open this up. And get that all good and inky. 
fantastic. And a lot of times I like to do them upside down, but I found it to be easier this way. And so I want to come up here I, and how it gets less and less. And we'll press and then see what we have. And oh, gorgeous. Look at it against this and it filled it in so nicely. So now a little bit more stamping and we get to put it all together. So I have to tell you, when my stamp set arrived and I opened it up, um, I got a little teary-eyed because I had forgotten what it looked like. I knew it was roses. I knew it had masks and dyes. And I didn't forget the God bless, but seeing it there in writing, like, oh, it just means the world to me. So um, anytime I can, I like to stamp after I die cut because it's just easier. You know, this is a photopolymer with a clear rubber. I can see around and through and see right where I'm stamping. And that's easier than trying to center it around it. And uh, the last time I used the, the decorative masks, someone says, wouldn't it have been easier to use the masks before die cutting? Possibly, but not for me, because if I didn't get it the way I want it when I die cut, if it was off, I would have spent all that time coloring it and then messed it up. So, and then with that waffle flower, I can die cut first because you saw it stayed in place. I moved the mask, no harm, but you know, it stays in place. So every little tag needs, you know, something to hold it on. So I have here the linen thread and uh, somehow I managed to make a very fine mess of this. <laughs> oh, all right. Here's the end. Well, I can't seem to find the end. Here we go. I was trying to straighten it back up before our video. I don't know how I managed to do this. But anyway, we'll feed this through and make a little bow. Linen thread is just so versatile. It doesn't add a lot of bulk. And um, but it can add a nice touch to your cards. And you can use it on a masculine card and not feel fr frilly. And I like to work off of the roll. So I don't, I don't waste as much because if I cut it, I'll have to cut it longer than I need. So you know what? This is tiny. So instead of fooling and fooling, I just went ahead and have one ready. Okay. So there we go. Our, our God bless. Okay. So let's start putting things together. And I decide to, I better put this, I've got the black, um, just that little hint of black. So let's turn this over and then I have my stamp and seal. So over here it's a little opaque. I like to put my finger there. Sometimes I need to help it and get it started. There we go. An inch in each corner works beautifully for me. And this is only an eighth inch bigger or a sixteenth all the way around. So you, you need to slow down and uh, put it on nice and even because that hint of black is really sharp. So. For this, we're going to use my favorite accessory. <laughs> Actually, it's an adhesive. And uh, the Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, for this, I'm going to use the black Stampin' Dimensionals because the cardstock's black. And then once I take that backing off, press with your thumbnail, it makes that edge pop up. Look, from the side, it will blend in. That's a really cool thing. Okay. So one in each corner. And I'll do one in the center because this is a... Uh, decent size. And I'll have a link under the video to my blog post with this card and it'll have the measurements. And so if you'd like to make it in a PDF that you can download, print and save. So giving it that height is very, very nice. And so then I'm going to attach my flower with the regular Stampin' Dimensionals. They are white. This is white. So let's give this a good boost. These foam adhesive dots, it's just, you know, just laying flat. Or um, you can do that, but giving lifting it up is really cool. And part of it I'm thinking, besides just the visual dimension, I think it creates a bit of a shadow, which is really sharp. So this is a really good size flower that remember, we'll be able to isolate that rose. Oh. And so this is from the 2024-2025 Stampin' Up! catalog. Ordering from it will start May 1st. And that's when you'll be able to pick up my beautiful 
Layers of Beauty bundle in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. In the meantime, as I'm doing this, you know, um, we've got Retiring in Colors to get. And March 18th, the Retiring list comes out. Lists for both. We've got the mini catalog and the annual catalog. And so suddenly we'll find out a lot of things are retiring and be available only while supplies last. So I purposely made this layer a little bit smaller than my die cut. I love when I can go off the edge but of a layer, but not off the edge of the actual card because I feel like this is our, our canvas and it needs to be able to fit into an envelope. And so, but going off, I just think it's so stinking cool. Look at that. That dimension adds so much. Okay, and so then for this, because I have that, um, the linen thread that's holding up. I didn't want to put that with dimensionals, but I need something a little bit stronger. So I got out the mini glue dots. And you peel them back until you can see a dot. You don't want to touch them. We want them to stay extremely sticky. So take your cardstock to it. That came off, and let's get another one. There we go. And, ah, sweet, sweet, sweet. And then remember our die cut pieces? All right, so let me turn these over. Underneath me, I have a silicone mat. I just love working on this. Um, adhesive is it sticking to it and everything else because it's silicone. And I found this on Amazon and really like working with it. So. I'm just going to put it on these ends. And if I go over, it doesn't matter because it's on that silicone, it'll just come right up. So I just need the little ends to, to stick in. I don't remember that I used that one, but all right, so let's come over here. And that's already sitting up. I tuck this in. there. Just give it a little bit more interest. Whoops, I guess I didn't do a good job pushing that down, but that's okay because I wanted to get this over on here anyway. Um, about right there. Okay, so let's come in with this one. We'll come down over here, tuck that away. A little bit of detail. I thought about doing a darker green, but I thought, no, um, everything has been so soft up to now. Let's just keep it soft. Press on that. And then the finishing touch. Now this is the only thing that I'm not confident because I don't know. I haven't seen the new catalog yet. If these pastel adhesive back sequins will make it in. Okay. And I have a full one. But let's do this. So... Uh, I've got my take your pick tool, so I'll press down. Let's come up over here and get one up over here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Another large one down here, and then a small one. There we go. And there is my first Layers of Beauty card with my Million Sales Achiever stamp set that I've made. Oh my goodness, so here it is. And this gorgeous bundle that includes the masks that are a little dirty right now and pushed off to the side will be available May 1st, 2024 in my online store. So let's have another look at my gorgeous, gorgeous Layers of Beauty card, soft pink roses. The Layers of Beauty bundle will be available to order starting May 1st, 2024 in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I want to take a moment to thank you for sharing this special day with me. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and God bless.